we got this compressor here uh, where someone was trying to braze it in through the discharge line and this was the piece originally on there that completely blocked up the pipe and then when he cut it short because he wanted to re-solder in there if you could see this pipe is completely blocked out now I did do a demonstration where we used a screw and the screw goes inside the pipe and when you heat up the solder it pulls the solder out um, but this one is totally restricted now the one thing is is this is the suction line this is a discharge line so this one is going to pull air in but this one wants to blow out so normally if you've got a, a partially restricted opening you can stick a, a coarse screw in there and mm -hmm. screw it in heat it up and use the screw to pull the solder out but one this thing is completely restricted and won't get the solder out so what I'm going to mm -hmm. attempt to do is I'm going to heat it up with a pipe mm -hmm. and when you heat up with a pipe the solder in there is going to turn to liquid mm -hmm. but the problem is I don't have a way to go in there and pull it out and if I use a screw and try to pull it out with a screw I may potentially push solder in and make things worse so what I'm going to do is I hooked it up to the relay and overload and hooked up power to it and I'm going to heat it up and liquefy the solder there once I feel that the solder is liquefied we're going to plug it in and let the compressor try to blow out as much solder as it can. Mm -hmm. Now, one, we got to be careful because if this is liquid solder, it's liquid metal, we don't want to do anything. So I'm going to use this cardboard and blow it up against the cardboard so it doesn't fly anywhere and hurt anybody. So, you know, technically you should be wearing gloves and safety glasses and everything else so you don't get it on you. Um, but once we've cleared it out with blowing it out, if we can get it open that way, then we'll get a screw and come back and try to screw in there and pull out any remaining solder that might be caught in there. So what happened here is that attempting to braze this more than once, mm -hmm. if you can't get it right the first time, you end up restricting the pipe and you know you ruin a whole compressor if you can't get this stuff out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and try to heat this up and try to um, blow it out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and light this torch. And so I'm going to heat it up until this liquefies. And once that liquefies, the next thing I want to do is I want to plug this in. So I need someone to plug that in for me when I'm ready. I'm going to turn it like this. And I'm going to have this just blow towards the, towards the cardboard. So if you guys want to be able to see what's going on with the solder right down in here. Can you get that with the... Down here. Can you see that? When mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, but once I turn it on, I don't want you that close. <laughs> you zoom in with the camera. Okay. And... The And let's go ahead and let's give this a try. Can you see it from here? I saw it. I caught it. It already blew it out. Yeah. What happened is I ran the compressor for about three seconds before we even did it. Mm -hmm. So it sucked the air in, but it put pressure on the high side chamber. Mm -hmm. So the, the pressure that was already in there already blew it out. I'm just going to heat it up for a second, but go ahead and take a look inside that pipe now. Yeah. Go ahead and look at that pipe. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And we blew out that restriction. Wow. Mm -hmm. So um, I made I made him take the compressor out mm -hmm. and not do this inside the refrigerator. Okay, mm -hmm. it's just a lot easier for you to manage this and right. do this than being in there. But the fact that he had the suction line soldered yeah. and everything else. You know, I know he wanted to try to fix it right then there because all he wanted to do was brace this thing and get it over with. Mm -hmm. So I am going to heat it up though and turn the compressor on. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do is going to come back with a screw and show you how mm -hmm. we use a screw to pull out any extra solder that didn't come out with that pressure. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and, and use the torch again. Watching the solder from the liquid here. Go ahead. So now it's blowing out, and I got good pressure coming out. Mm -hmm. So let me take a look now inside the pipe there. Yeah. And that pipe looks pretty clean. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at. It. Take a look at. It. Let me see if I get mm -hmm. a screw real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you got it. Mm-hmm. Like it's brand new, huh? Mm -hmm. 
so I'm going to take a screw that has a real coarse thread on it. We don't mm -hmm. want something with a real fine thread, yeah. but we want to screw in there, and this one just barely screws in. Now, sometimes it's good to have a tight one, but if it's too yeah. tight and you try to pull it out, it yeah. ain't going to come out. So there may still be a little bit of solder trapped in there. So mm. I got it in there like I can't pull it out. So now I'm going to try to heat it up and then grab this with a pair of pliers and then pull it out. So any solder that's stuck inside the walls, mm. maybe I can scrape some of that out too because if there's a lot of solder in there mm. and I go to slide the pipe in when I heat it up, any solder in there could restrict it again. Mm. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to light it up again. Look, I, I think that's about as clean as we're going to get the inside of that pipe. Just take a look and I don't know if you want to turn the flash on on the camera. Maybe you can get some light in there. Or someone else kind of No, actually, it actually, light? it can see pretty good. Yeah, but you, can you see inside the opening? Oh, can you see I want to see inside there. Yeah, back up a little. Mm -hmm. Use the camera to zoom, but you can see that opening that was totally blocked now is mm -hmm. opened up. So, all we have to do now is we're going to clean this up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit we need to clean up there, so we need to cut it a little bit more because it's split right there. Mm -hmm. So, we take a hacksaw and we're going to cut it with a hacksaw. Don't cut it with a tubing cutter because mm. it can crush. Okay. The thing is, is when we're cutting it, it's it's now it's got solder all around it. So we got all these different metals mm -hmm. and it's not smooth. So when you cut with a tubing cutter, you're not gonna get the right, right cut. Right, right. So we wanna hacksaw it, sand the outside and ream the inside a little bit and get it ready for brazing. Okay. Any questions, guys? No, sir. Well, I have one. Yeah. That little second that you plugged it in created enough pressure? Yeah, okay. it, 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 remember, mm -hmm. look at the size of this pipe and look at the size yes. of that pipe. Yes. So even for like three seconds, the amount of air that's inside this chamber, yeah. and when it goes to pump it to the high side, it goes to a super, super small tube. Yeah. So it's already compressing it. Okay. I didn't intentionally do it. As a matter of fact, I just plugged right. it in right. to see if it would run, right. and I made sure that the relay was going to work so I could do this test. Okay. And it just so happened it built up enough pressure. As soon as I hate it, and like, again, remember I put this here, yeah. you can see a little bit of the oil that yeah. shot out and got yeah. on the cardboard yeah. here. You got that? Yeah, I, yeah, I got that. Oh. So you got like a little bit of oil and stuff that shot out of the compressor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. shot out. So yeah. again, that's why I put this cardboard here because I didn't want anybody to get hit by anything right, flying right, out. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was going to shoot out when I when I That quick. It. I didn't think it I either. thought it was going to liquefy and I was right. going to plug it in and blow right. it out. But Wow. Again, remember, I didn't let it run very long. If no, I let it run no, very long, mm -hmm. it might have had a lot more pressure. Right, right. It might have shot it right. out like a cannon. Who right, knows? Absolutely. But I did save the compressor. Right, you right, did. Right, because right. if you saw a compressor with a blockage like that, you're like, how the hell am I going to put a yeah. pipe on there and get this thing to work? Absolutely. Right, right, right. So absolutely. basically, that's all this was, was just mm -hmm. a, a way to... How do I fix it if, I, if I've restricted my discharge right. okay. line? Okay, Mr. Rich. Thank you. Very good.